So wait a minute. Uh, let me just say with Trudy, you kind of dragged her into the paranormal. And then after this happens, it kind of changes her mind on everything. I did. I did because I was the one that, that had the, the historical fascination of the custom house. You know, she had never heard of it before. And it was only when I discovered the ghost walks and, and you were doing the ghost walk. And I said, Hey, 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 we gotta, we gotta go. We gotta take this tour. And so this was entirely new to her. So this, this, this event happened for her where her ring snapped off and um that was her beginning to the paranormal um as i say we believe it was it was little david the 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 most pronounced um child spirit there now remind me um did you find out any information from david on who he was yes yes and that's we can we can get into that but um, so that was her her interaction. Well, because that happened, we signed up again next month when you did your your following tour. And this is when I had my interaction, which got me into the paranormal. We were upstairs in the attic, and we encountered the the old caretaker name is Walter and we went up there and the attic was pitch black and we walked into his his room where he had his his bachelor's apartment up there because he lived there because he was the caretaker during the 1950s in that building and we stepped through the doorway and we were rushed by his energy, it went straight through us. And I will tell you, Daniel, I have never felt anything like that ever before in my life. It's people ask me, you know, well, what did it feel like? And, and I can't describe it. It's something you have to experience for yourself. It was purely electrical. It's where, you know, your arms get goosebumps and the hair stands up. And that's then what got me into the paranormal was that moment my life changed. And that's when I, I said, this is what my life now is, is. I have got to investigate the paranormal. I've got to research the paranormal. And it was that moment of Walter's energy moving right through my body yeah it, it was amazing i'll tell you um uh, seeing you and uh, your partner trudy at work as investigators i've worked with many investigators over the years i've been in this field for for over 20 and uh i'll tell you you see some people who are passionate you meet people who are actors on shows like the ghost shows i call them actors because they're not real yeah. investigators yeah and then yeah. i see people like you guys i mean you just really take to it the excitement you bring to it and i'll tell you i believe because of that energy of the excitement you bring to it you get more results those who come in with very low energy are not going to be able to stir it up around them but for you know you and trudy it's just this and i know i know trudy um just going back to david uh, she has a connection to children's spirits. Uh, we're we're going to be at Kilbride soon. I know she had experience with Laura Louise as well. But I am curious. I got I got to know this now. It's like, uh, who did you find out who David was? Okay. Well, as I say, um, right from that very first ghost walk we took, David made himself known to Tree. And um, although at the time we didn't know it was it was David, all we knew is that. She felt this presence, her ring broke, and it was over the various investigations and ghost walks that we continued to come to the, gust, the, the custom house that we did. And slowly over time through the, the, um, the equipment that we had, the obvious device, we'd ask questions, we'd get answers. You'd get a word here and a word there. And slowly, we got to put a story together that um, 
and this was confirmed eventually because we we ended up on the Ouija board one night and, and, and I'll get to that but the we slowly got this this evidence word by word and the story started to emerge about this little boy from England that came to Canada now in in the um, late 1800s, early 1900s, there was something in Canada called the British Child Emigration Movement. And that resulted from conditions being so bad over in England with homeless children and workhouses and, and, and all that stuff that both Britain and Canada decided that something needed to be done to help these children and so they created what they called the british emigration child movement where all these children were shipped from england over to canada where supposedly they would obtain a better life than what they had over there in in the uk and we found out that little david was one of these little children now how we found this out, as I say, I, I had speculation through all the, the EVPs and, and, and obvious words, but we had the opportunity one time that he actually came through the spirit board at one of the custom house ghost walks. And he wanted to talk to Trudy. And, he, and so, yeah, we talked to him and we asked direct questions blah 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 and it's like yes yes no yes and that's how we got our information very cool uh do you know any idea like what year uh that all that was happening with him i assume the 1800s but um yes it was probably late 1800s um he was five years old when he died um we came right out and we asked him how did you die? Um, he did not want to answer the question. But considering history at that time, you had you had like the 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 Spanish flu epidemic mm -hmm. in the in the early 1900s. You had cholera. You had you had all that stuff. So it's um, diphtheria. Um, it was very, uh, so, very common for kids not to be able to make it even to an adult age. Yes. Or so even we, younger we don't adults. don't actually know how he passed away, but um, all we know is that he did. Uh, he was five years old at the time. Now, I remember uh, you guys mentioning at one time, didn't he visit you at your home? Like after we. Yes. Used... Yeah. Uh, once the uh, once the um, the the custom house. um said you know to you okay no more of this ghost stuff you know unfortunately um yes little davis uh little david followed us home and um he's still here he i think he goes back and forth but how did you know he was there did he appear did he come through the tools oh yeah because every now and again you know something would happen and we try not to investigate our own home, but when something happens, you got to pull out the equipment and find out what's going on. And yep, sure enough, it's little David. Yeah. Yeah. I'll tell you, uh, when I used to do investigations is going way back in, uh, uh, 1999 <laughs> to about 2004. I remember when you really focused on this world and put yourself into it. And it's almost like the spirit world knew what you were doing you would you would get these visitations and things would happen in your home. So I understand the idea of not wanting to investigate because you don't really want to stir it up in the place that you should feel relaxed. However, they they do tend to come in on their own. They gotta force their way in. Has there been any other times like before an investigation or an after an investigation that you felt something had come into your home? Uh, from the custom house and i know i i, I don't want to make this whole podcast about the custom house. hey that's an energetic place i, I wouldn't it's, be surprised it's, it's it's what got me started in this business in this field and it's such a major part of why it is that you know i do what i do the story of the 15 men in the collapsed tunnel in the basement we also had 
one of those individuals come home with us along with David. And um, his name was Jim. And um, why did why did he come here with us? Uh, we have no answer. So we have. Did he do something? And they say, I'm, I'm curious, you, you don't really investigate your house. Like, how, how do you know that they're there? Is it just a feeling or? Okay. In the case of Jim, um, there was a book thrown off a bookshelf one day. I mean, that physically thrown off the shelf. And there's no way that this book is going to come flying off the shelf by itself. And uh, I was in one room. Um, doing what I was doing. Trudy was in another room watching TV. Both of us heard this book. It, it sort of landed on the floor with a loud bang. <clears throat> and both of us went, like, sort of got up from where we were and went in and went, what the hell was that? And we saw this book lying on the floor. So immediately, knowing that there's no reasonable explanation for this book coming off the off the shelf, we ran and we got the equipment and we started doing a a, a question session. And, um, yep, sure enough, we got confirmation. You know, it was Jim. It was Jim from one of the 15 men from the tunnel in the custom house. Yeah, so there was a, for those listening, there was a tunnel that connected the railway area down from the escarpment because the custom house faces over a hill. And there used to be a tunnel that came in that went into the basement so that uh, transients riding the rails could come through and, and spend a night overnight in what they called a uh, social services building. But it was just an a, abandoned building for them to go into. Uh, so it, it amazes me, though, with investigators, like if somebody had that happen in their house where a book comes flying off their shelf, they, they would like be scared and like, and piss themselves or something with an investigator. <laughs> no, we run and grab our tools because we know there's something going on. Yeah, well, it's uh, Trudy gets freaked out um, depending on what the situation is. She can get freaked out. Um, I don't get creeped out with any of this because I figure if if I get creeped out in in one of these situations, I'm in the wrong field. Yes, you know it, it's not like on television where where you see some of these guys go into a location, something happens, and they start screaming and running away. It's like you know that's ridiculous. And, um, yeah, I I don't get creeped out. Well, that's just drama for the the ghost shows.